Tonight we are in Disney's Hollywood Studios and it is extremely crowded, but we are going to do a restaurant review at... Mama Melrose's Restaurant. Yes, haven't ever eaten here yet, so we're going to go see what it's like. Let's go check it out. As we are getting ready to enter Disney's Hollywood Studios, it is very, very, very crowded this evening. It's pretty unreal. Now we are cutting it a little close. Our reservation is for 6.50. It's like 6.47 right now. There is a little bit of a grace period, I think up to like 15 minutes. Um, we are able to do a check-in through the app 20 minutes early, but since we're a little farther away from the restaurant, it's kind of out of reach right now. So what we'll do is we'll check in when we get a little closer. It's currently so busy that they aren't even using fingerprints. They're just having us scan our passes. Now, in case you don't know where Mama Melrose's is at, right there. just walk down the middle, take a left, and it'll be back where the old like city area used to be. It's back over in that corner there. We'll show you. So over here by the Dockside Diner, if you walk past that and kind of hang a left right here by the theater, uh, keep going that way. This will take you to uh, where you need to go. You can also go around the theater that way. It is busy tonight, so we're trying to just get off the main area but this way will take you to um, the restaurant so I think we're right now a couple minutes late uh, but like I said there is a grace period for reservations so um, as we're walking there I'll see if we can check in the only issue with checking in a little early is sometimes they'll text you but other times they'll call out your name so if you're not there then they might call out your name and you're not there so I actually just checked in and it said they will send me uh, text or use the notification through the app to let us know when the table is ready um, as you're walking this way go past star tours and you are definitely pretty close to uh, the restaurant if you see sci-fi dine-in here keep going past it we actually did a video at sci-fi dine-in it's one of our favorite uh, places to eat we'll need to do a updated review because they have switched their menu since then but I'm um, over here by the Muppets where all of this wall is which if you come this wall might be down, but um, before you get to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, over here to the left is where you can find the restaurant. So currently five minutes after our scheduled time. And uh, again, they haven't even called us yet, but turn this way towards the Muppets. And it should be right on up here by the Pizza Rizzo, which is also a good place to eat at. And it's tucked back here in the corner, so if you keep walking by the Pizza Rizzo, they have a very good gluten-free pizza here. In fact, we like the gluten-free pizza here better than their normal ones. But keep walking to the back, back here to this deserted area where you can find Santa's always out here. But keep going this way and back in the very back, right here, Mama Melrose's Restaurant Day. Italiano it's right back here and I just got a text so I'm thinking they just said our table is ready head over here to the check-in area so that was perfect timing here we are inside the restaurant again it's our first time here restrooms are over there if we come this way ooh, smells very good you can see there's the pizza oven there some things on the grill we turn this way wow this is exciting stuff it is pretty dark in here so just know that going into it it's kind of like a dim atmosphere but we are heading all the way right here this is our seat just gonna show you around the restaurant here but that was it's a very large restaurant it smells really good too so that's exciting Let's have a look at the menu. Again, pretty dark in here, but um, here we have appetizers. So fried fresh mozzarella. Kind of show you some of the um, appetizers they have. Trying to hold it in as much light as possible, but here we have entrees. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. Timber and I might share something like the spaghetti and meatballs. Um, I think you do get an annual pass holder discount, so that's something we will uh, have to ask about, but look at the entrees here. And then down here we have uh, some information. And on the other side we have drinks, it looks like. Yeah, the drink menu. So 
specialty drinks, um, some wine. Ooh, a Bellini cocktail. Nice thing is there's some music in the background, but it's not super loud, so it makes it pretty, pretty nice. There's their normal beverages too. And then over here, it looks like we have um, some information maybe. So let's just go through this. Feel free to pause the screen if you need to and you can read what some of this says. Open this up. This might be a tricky menu to do, but I'll try to show you this side first. Raspberry mojito, wow. $15 though, they are some expensive drinks here. Over here we have beer. There's some hard ciders. Zero proof cocktail. That sounds good. Then if we open it up, there we go, I have Timber helping me here. If we look at the cocktails, Moscow Mule, a Pina Colada, which I've had before, and a Pina Colada. And then over here, some more. And then again, Zero Proof Cocktail. And then is there anything on the back? Already showed that page. Oh, some wines. There we have it. There is, oh, Watermelon Lemonade. Yum. There's the menu. So just so you know, these are not free refills. So I just went with the regular lemonade, but um, these are not free refills. So Timber and I are gonna share the Mama's Italian pasta. There's some wine pairings with it, but we are gonna add chicken since we are sharing. And since it is a little pricey, we'll let you know if it's worth sharing or not. But that sounds good. And when you're at Mama Melrose's, you might as well get Mama's Italian pasta. So they do have pizza here. It's kids pizza. So she said you can order it, but it's gonna be a lot smaller. The flatbreads are bigger and they actually, I don't think list them all, but you can get a margarita one. You can get a pepperoni one. Italian one and a cheese, but you can't get the margarita and add like pepperoni. They don't allow that, just so you know. And as far as this lemonade goes, it is Minute Maid lemonade. Now my dad got the Long Island tea and said it's about one of the best Long Island teas he has ever had. So, and my mom agrees. So, interesting. I'm not trying to creep over on this table, it's already finished, but uh, there's some items left over of what their plates look like. All right, so here is the food. So just in the future, I would say the entree we got is probably not worth sharing unless you're not that hungry because it doesn't appear to be that much. Um, here is what the flatbread looks like. That looks tasty, looks like good crust. And then if you do want to share though, what one did you get? I got the chicken parmesan. Oh yeah, that's quite a bit there. So maybe there's more underneath here, we'll find out. But um, the, that one so far is the biggest one. Now I actually think I like the format a little better of what we've been doing. Um, but that is, instead of trying to like show each bite, just kind of tell you what we like and what we don't like about it. Um, plus it's pretty loud in here. so. It's kind of hard sometimes to show it and if it's really dark it makes the video a little bit blurry so i think we'll just try everything and um uh give it uh give it a try so just kind of an update our pasta is really good i'm getting ready to try my mom's flatbread it is a little like i don't know if you call it runny but like the um, toppings aren't really staying sticking on the crust but my dad's on the other hand the chicken chicken was very good so i will show you the pizza crust because there's a really good um, crunch to it. That's good for us. Now they do have dessert and I'll put a screenshot in right here of all the desserts they have but they have some sort of like colors of cheesecake or something. I think we're gonna end up getting that one. So it actually was a decent amount but if you are starving I don't think it would be worth getting one to share. That one you probably could but um, I, I don't know that one's kind of iffy on sharing. You wouldn't share it? It really wasn't enough to share. So I will say uh, it's 
so far doesn't seem worth the price on the cheesecake. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. We did see a tiramisu and I guess it was much bigger than this. So that's probably the dessert we should have got. Uh, this isn't very big at all. It is pretty good, um, but I don't think it's worth the price. So I probably wouldn't get this as the dessert again. So here's a look at the bill and there is an annual pass holder discount of 10%. So with all the drinks, the entrees and everything like that, the total is 104.44. Now we are heading back outside. Total time I think took about an hour. I think it's about 7.45 right now, so 6.45 to 7.45-ish was how long it took. There's that pizza oven. Again, the restrooms are up here on the right-hand side. And we are back outside here. So hopefully that was a helpful review if you're looking at eating here when you come visit Hollywood Studios and Kermit's right there. So that was our review at Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano. That is a mouthful, but um, it was, I would say it was okay. There's not many places to eat at Hollywood Studios. Um, kind of your cheaper option because the other restaurants are pretty expensive. A lot of them are uh, character meals. Um, it was okay. It was a neat little place. Uh, I wouldn't get the dessert again wouldn't share the entree. I'd say out of all the entrees, I like my dad's the best. His, his was good. Yeah, it just wasn't a whole lot for the price, uh, but um, hopefully this was a helpful review. If you're coming out to Hollywood Studios and you want a place to eat, that gives you an option. And as always, we are trying to build out our website and add all of these reviews on there to help you out. But I think we're gonna call it. So with that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.